Yeah. Yeah, I thought uh, you could see clear mindset going into the game, uh, the way that we uh, wanted to play, uh, and we did play. I thought we uh, uh, had to start with some defensive sets on our goal line, and we, we defended them well. They obviously had some tricks there that they wanted to play early, and, and we defended those, and then... Uh, probably from about the 10th to the 30th uh, to the 40th minute, um, we were really in control of the game. I thought we were uh, carrying well, kicking into good positions. Defensive line was really um, disciplined and, and aggressive. Uh, and we moved the ball when we wanted to. I thought we, uh, we laid some good platform. I think obviously some of those forwards played some really good roles and then the boys moved it when they wanted to off the back of it. Yeah, yeah, the boys, um, yeah, we've been improving on our uh, understanding about how we want to play and I think you saw parts of that tonight, especially first half. Uh, and we earned the right to, to move the ball and, and, and play a bit more footy and the combos are, are improving. What did you make of the, the forwards? You mentioned them briefly, there were a couple of the guys, but unreal performance in that first half. Yeah, yeah, so really... Um, obviously, Zane stepping into Jared's role, uh, Siwa taking that extra responsibility of that that front rower, and, and Isaac Liu in there. But and then um, obviously Victor Radley, Angus Crichton, the way that he carried the ball, and and I thought Boyd Cordner um, was very strong for us as well. I thought that in between sort of the 50th and 65th minute, of the second half when it was sort of just a bit bogged down, Boyd was the one that decided to to really push that momentum and then Siwa came on and got off the back of him as well. So, um, yeah, they, they wanted to, to play well and um, uh, and did. It didn't matter who was in that position, they wanted to, to do well and they did. How many Yahoo's gone for 200 metres tonight? Is there anything you're looking at seeing the first couple of weeks? Is he key to getting, getting to that kind of thing? Yeah, look, he's been... Um, I think he's been doing it for a while and I, I think... You know, there's some sexier players out there that, that get some some raps at, at different times and they deserve that, but there's some guys there that, that, that have done this for a while and Siwa's one of those guys and, um, yeah, he, he's, uh, he's been pretty important. Like he almost didn't play last week. He came into the change room and it was touch and go whether he was going to get on the field um, against Parramatta and then he goes out and plays the game that he did against Parramatta Scored the try that got us that, that real gap and then he goes out tonight. He didn't train all week and then goes out and performs again. What's wrong with him? Oh, he's just had a tight sort of back glute um, and it's sort of, uh, yeah, it's just sort of stop start. I think they even mentioned it last week with him sort of trying to get going and he got going. Although Cooper obviously finished the game on the bench. Can you yep. clarify what happened? Uh, he just tightened up at half-time. So he obviously... There was nothing wrong in the first half. There wasn't an incident, but he got tighter. The the, the game went, so he got worked on at half time, and then um, it was just precautionary there for us to. After about, I think it was about ten or fifteen minutes to go. Okay, um, we we trust the movement of the guys. The guys have been playing that way the last couple of weeks, so let's let's not push him any more and um, give him a bit of a rest. You said there was an Right. I don't think I can say anything about it really because it is on report. Um, I think but there's a, a, enough people saw it. Do, do you think that playmakers don't need to be protected? We've seen these type of shots, these type of tackles, late tackles. Oh, I think that's. Well, I think that's. We'll see this week because that that's the rules are in place for those. I think there's been good development from the NRL around that in the last couple of years. So I don't think I don't think our our um, our procedures are wrong at all. I think they've they've made they've noticed that, and then they've put rules in place for that. They were during the commentary as we said, you know, we've got first guys like First and John's Fitlap, who are obviously great playmakers, and they were they were saying that they were calling for the sin bin to be used, hmm. the sin bin needs to be used. But yeah, I understand. I it's probably it's you know it's for them to comment more so than me. You know, I'm, I think I'm biased. <laughs> I think it's people that, that aren't as biased that, that have seen the game. I, I don't think it needs another commentary from me on it. And well, just was so, at half time, the, um, yeah. Massive, massive wealth on his back. That, that wasn't as a result of pain 
Uh, no, not, not not that I know of. To be honest, I didn't see that. I don't know whether there is a scar there, a significant scar. I don't know. Was it down low? Uh, maybe that was where they were working on to sort of free up that that hammy. Um, but I'm, yeah, I'm not sure. And, and the back problem is related to the hamstring problem that you Oh, I don't think it's back. I, I just think it is hammy. But I think that's an area where they want to get into to that may all tighten up to protect that. So I'd say that would have been getting into that area. I didn't hear anything else from Cooper. And he was, he, he was like, oh, good to go though this week. It wasn't, <laughs> it wasn't a concern over him. No, there wasn't. Otherwise, we wouldn't have played him. Yeah. Um, but then for us to take him off after 50 minutes, you know, means that there's still a bit of recovery to do, I guess, on that, 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 that hamstring. He was, he, he was uh, you know, he, he set up three tries. He, he was great. He's yeah. Yeah, look, I think, we're, again, we've had the third week in a row where we've had some changes that have, that have had to happen. Um, and it's not ideal, but I love it at the same time because you, you, don't, you don't want to plan for that. But if it happens, it means that you're flexible mentally and physically. It means guys can play in different positions. Um, so, uh, and then Cooper coming back in that you can see the impact that he has on our team. I think there's been enough talk about, um, you know, what's going to happen. And I've had questions about it. Cooper's a high quality player. And I think people are still asking that question. The man's, he's, he's pretty special and, and he had that impact. But then the ability to play without those guys, without Jake, without Jared, and then without Cooper, uh, I want a team to, to be that way. I want them to be able to be flexible like that. Yeah, he was um, he was all over the shop tonight. He was um, busy and all that, and he was trying everything. And um, some of it came off, and some of it didn't. But yeah, it's uh, it's important to have a guy like Luke when when Cooper's not there, and um, and even a guy like Victor to at his age to step in. Yeah, I, I think I did. I say it last week. I thought he was the best player in rugby league last year, in in the world, um, and uh, and I, I think I talked about his development from a, a talent to a to a great man, an individual player, and then a great leader, and 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 the 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 breadth of his knowledge on the game, and then his ability to still understand all that, and then still deliver on class moments. That's um, yeah, the guys. The guy's working hard on his game. He's not sort of crossing his fingers and he works hard on it, but then puts it in the right place to go out and let it flow as well. So that's a... Frightening how good he can get. Yeah, that's a... More than yeah, and I th still think there's... Uh, as I said, I th there was that was 40 really quality minutes and then we probably had about 15, 20 minutes where we were just off uh, in what we wanted to do and then, and then the boys got back in control again. So... Um, that's our best game this year, um, and I think you can see that there's um, yeah there's some stuff to be done as well. No, uh, it's a yeah it's a funny one because it's yeah yeah it's what the fans want, but yeah I'm not sure what the the correct thing is there from the coach. I talked to Trav about getting back on with his uh, Matty Cavalu was down, and I think. Trav saw red there, and um, I don't know if he gets. Does he? Does he get an hourly wage for? for he's a Lebanese international. Yeah. Yes, Lebanese international, two thousand, I think. Yeah, um, he's a right. I think it was a left shoulder tackle too. So um, he still keeps fit, Trav. So you never know. You never know. All right. Thanks.